Hello, hello. Um, I've got an unboxing uh, slash review for you. It's been a while since I've really taken a look at any, uh, you know, outdoor, outdoorsy type products, stuff like that. But uh, this would um, fall, under, fall under that category, I would think. Um, it's from a company called Wolif, W-U-L-I-F-F. -F. Uh, I'm assuming that's how I pronounce it. And it is a tactical knife, is what it's called. Uh, it's eleven ninety five on Amazon right now with Prime shipping, of course. So. Just eleven ninety five, free shipping if you have Prime. Uh, the full title <laughs> of this is the Wolf Tactical Knife with Foldable Blade, six and a half inch overall length, stainless steel pocket knife, durable lightweight design, secure locking mechanism, rust resistant, ultra sharp blade. <laughs> All that, right? Okay. Anyway, uh, as you can see, it comes. Uh, it came in an envelope, uh, you know, a padded envelope, whatever. But then it comes packaged in here like so, in this little plastic zip style bag. So, uh, something neat here, um, uh, multi-purpose pocket knife, uh, a foldable blade, superior comfort, thanks for your purchase, etc. But inside, um, it's kind of neat here, um, we have a little, <laughs> a little diagram. Cutting edge, primary grind blade, spine, thumb stud, rod axle hold, jumping handle, uh, flipper guard. Um, it's a neat little, uh, diagram, of course, here. And on this side, of course, we have indoor, outdoor, you know, ideas, uh, about the product. Ideal to use for cutting line, trimming branches, deboning fish, uh, household tasks like uh, cutting cardboard, pruning shrubs, uh, supposedly without dulling the knife blade. Mm, I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's a stainless steel knife. Uh, durable pivot and stop pins eliminate blade play for precision cutting. But uh, here's a knife here. Uh, it comes in this little uh, white box, as it were. Let me try and get this open. And a uh, plastic bag, of course, inside. And then here's the knife. It's, uh, you know, small. Fits in your hand, like so. Uh, it is... Uh, three and three quarter inches when it's folded. Opening up here, I have to say, it is a little uh, stiff. But, I'm, you know, I'm guessing over time it will, um, you know, loosen up, of course. But uh, the length here we have is just ever so slightly past... Uh, six and a half inches, just ever so slightly, six and five eighths, something like that. But um, the liner lock here is, I have to say, it's, it's kind of hard to close, but uh, you know, that should loosen with time as well. Uh, the knife is very, uh, very, very nicely finished, I must say. There are no, um, you know, sharp edges or anything like that for unfinished. It's nicely polished, stainless steel. We have a, um, a slightly, slightly this is like a plastic inset in here uh, between the two sides, which um, is uh, like a ribbed type of pattern for grip. And no, no, uh, there's a nice, very, <laughs> very, very strong uh, clip here. I mean, I can't even. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's a really, really tough, strong clip. Uh, thumb stud, of course, here we have the little thing on the back as well. It's uh, what the heck is this called? Uh, flipper guard, as it's called, or thumb rud. Uh, it's called flipper guard on that side. You can kind of do that, um, but it would have to be uh, loosened up. You know, you can flip it open. Um, it's this knife, uh, it's stiff, it's new, it's stiff, it happens. We've got Wolf on the blade there. Uh, it is, I like the uh, skeleton style. Uh, you know, it's see-through. It helps uh, keep the weight down as well. I'm not sure what the weight is on this. Um, uh, about three ounces. But um, it feels nice in the hand. You know, either way, of course, you can use it. Uh, as far as sharpness, um, it feels uh, fairly sharp. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. I'm not applying too much pressure on there to cut through there would be fine for opening boxes and stuff like that of course uh, oh no for $12 uh, you know $11.95 $12 it is a, a, a nice a very very nice knife I've gotten uh, other knives uh, more expensive than this that aren't uh, finished as this one I'd say I am impressed uh, overall with the finish on it I have a lot of knives uh, I used to collect them uh, myself just you know, just because interesting looking knives I used to collect and I have a lot of them floating around every which way but um, this one is finished very, very nicely. There are no rough edges on here at all. Uh, it is 
you know, as I said, it's really, really nicely finished uh, quality product. Uh, it feels very, very solid. There's no play at all in the knife blade here. I mean, it just, it doesn't move <laughs> no matter what you do. I mean, I'm just, I can't move it at all. Which, you know, is something you want to see in a knife. Uh, this wouldn't be bad for a daily carry, of course. But as you can see, the liner lock is actually part of the um, uh, second half of the knife. Uh, the back of the knife. And it is, as I said, it is hard to do. Which, a good thing and a bad thing, I guess. You know, you don't want it to be easy um, to unlock. But um, that's it. Uh, we'll lift knife. Uh, it is a very, very, uh, very nice knife for $12. I, I would... I can easily expect, I would easily expect to pay more than this for this knife. Um, it's just really nice. Uh, longevity, who knows? Uh, this just came in yesterday, actually. So I don't know. I haven't done much with it, obviously. <laughs> but um, that's it. Uh, thanks a lot.